A recent study by Restaurant and Catering Australia has found that unifying penalty rates across Saturday and Sundays could create 40,000 new jobs in Australia, with almost 9,000 right here in Queensland. With youth unemployment at 13.5% nationally and picking up well over 20% in regional areas, it's clear that double time rates on Sundays are locking tens of thousands of young Australians out of the workforce. If we're serious about creating jobs and opportunity, wouldn't ending Sunday penalty rates be a great place to start? I'll start with Terry Butler on this. So you're saying an interest group commissioned a report and it said exactly what the interest group wanted. That's amazing. What are the odds? <laughs> what are the odds, Nick? <laughs> Look, my dad was a shift worker, unsociable hours. He deserved penalty rates. The former questioner was a chef. He works unsociable hours. He, you give up your Sundays. You're not there for Mother's Day, Father's Day. You're not there for church. You're not there for all sorts of things. You deserve recognition for that. I'm an employer myself. I've got a nanny at home. I pay her penalty rates when she works overtime. I don't know if anyone else on this panel does that. I think, <laughs> I think when people work unsociable hours, there should be recognition of that. When I was a lawyer, I did some work on the night shift penalty case for firemen. You know, this politician had said, oh, these guys, they just stand around having photos taken, they're not doing anything. They are doing something. They're having their life disrupted, they're having their family disrupted, and they are paying a significant price. We're already talking about some of the lowest paid people. Do not believe the gobbledygook that says, if you just cut wages, suddenly there'll be magically more employment. That's just more of the trickle-down nonsense that um, Steve Chobo was talking about. So, uh, Terry, hasn't Bill Shorten already said that Labor will accept the Commission's decision on Sunday penalty rates? He won't fight it. Bill Shorten has said that we will fight for penalty rates because that's what we will do. I think he that's said, in fact, he said, done, he said, Tony. He he said, he said it's up to the Commission and I'll yeah, accept the exactly independent tribunal. We can, legislate. Has... we can legislate. Because oh, that works so well we in the US, legis legislating can, the minimum we can, wage. We can legislate penalty rates. How do you think Ted we Kennedy would that. have felt about that? We, we could legislate penalty rates. And then they'd be stuck in stone forever. We, we, you never what, get an improvement. Terry, the problem is that you speak out of both sides of the mouth. If you want to protect penalty rates, just protect them in law. I mean, that's... I agree with you. I agree with you. Mate, go to the US and ask them about how that work for their minimum wages. I, I agree with you that penalty rates are important and when the parliament starts to sit on a Sunday, maybe we can have a discussion about whether we abolish penalty rates. Um, 